One way you can affect the length of the pipe is by completely covering all the holes and the end hole. This means that the air can only escape through here, which means that you hit a really low harmonic. And it sounds like this. That's almost an octave below. Now, this whistle is cylindrical. The bore is the same width at the bottom as at the top. But with a conical bore, so it gets gradually smaller, you'll get a different interval. Instead of hearing an octave blow, you'll hear a sixth. And for each whistle, it might be slightly different. But they all kind of work the same. You can hear it even on the big, big one. That's really nice. Um, now, if you take this low harmonic and blow harder, you move up and down through the overtone series. thinner pipe will behave slightly differently. It's easier to get the higher overtones, harder to get the low ones. Um, and they all kind of work the same in that way. To regulate that very lowest overtone, you need a very slow, steady stream of air, very little air, and that can make it quite wobbly. So you really need to regulate it with the diaphragm, with your air, with your air support. Um, a way that can help is to regulate the air stream by slightly blocking off part of the windway with your lip or your tooth. Another way you can influence the airstream of an instrument is with multiphonics. Now, this means literally when one, more than one note is sounding at the same time. One note, that's a monophonic. You can hear a low tone and a high tone, a multiphonic. A multiphonic typically, typically happens when you have a forked fingering, so you have random holes open, and the airstream is split. For example, here, air comes out here and here. on a whistle is comprised of different overtones and basically with a multiphonic you're hitting different overtones at the same time. Sometimes it kind of judders between them. Which again you can influence with your airstream, with vibrato. And sometimes it will come to rest on a particular note. Um, now with all sizes and models of whistle, the multiphonics you can create will vary drastically. So the best thing to do is get your whistle and try it out. Now with multiphonics, you can approach them from different ways. You can take a fingering and then overblow, but you can also get a multiphonic by underblowing. One way this works nicely is by covering all the fingers and the end, creating that low note, and then using the breath pressure to hit different overtones.
So we move from the, bait, the fundamental note to overtones above. That is still a multiphonic by overblowing. You can go, get them by underblowing. For example, if I take the fingering for a high D, then blow very softly. very very soft you hear a kind of flagellate tone and we'll get to those in a bit but with an underlying tone there as well you can also create really nice multiphonics by just using your hand around the labium that's an octave ba, ba. a sort of organ With the whistle, if you underblow a lot, you eventually hit a flagellate tone or a whistle tone. Now, that sounds a lot like a very soft note, but if I take a flagellate tone and blow harder, you will hear that there's actually silence in between. So you move from the flagellate tone to a high overtone of the flagellate to almost nothing and then the real tone rises out of it. That's the flagellate and the real tone next to one another. Now, the wider your instrument, the easier it will be, because this air has to move very, very slowly. And if you have a thin instrument, it will be quite difficult. With a thin whistle, it's very, very high, and it's also a multiphonic. You hear it. It's quite difficult to get a uh, flagellate tone on the very bottom note. And the more open the instrument is, it is, it's the easier it is. With the whistle, you don't have to create an embouchure with your mouth inside your throat and your mouth it should be very relaxed this means you can easily sing ba you can literally just sing freely into the instrument and it sounds great with each other you can also play with the tuning between the whistle and your voice microtonally. For example, playing the same note as you're singing and then doing either side of it. You can also choose um, a particular interval, for example, a fifth. And detune it. <laughs> 